Hi everyone, welcome back to Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today I'm going to show you a really useful trick to make your iPhone or iPad even more helpful. Adding widgets to your today view. If you've ever wanted a quick glance at information without hunting through apps like your calendar, weather, reminders, this is a great tip. So grab your device, settle in, and let's make your home screen work a little smarter. Let's get started. Before we jump into the steps, I want to explain why this is worth doing, especially for us seniors. Widgets let you see important info at a glance without opening apps. Using the Today View keeps your home screen cleaner, less clutter, fewer icons to scroll through. It's especially helpful if you prefer bigger font, fewer distractions, or want the essentials right at your fingertips. So yes, this is not just a nice to have, it can make your iPhone or iPad easier and more enjoyable to use daily. All right, now let's do it together step by step. I'm working here on an iPad Pro, but the same basic steps apply to your iPhone as well. Make sure your device is unlocked and you're on your home screen. Now we're going to swipe from the left to the right with your finger until you arrive at the Today View screen. On most devices, it's the screen just left of your home screen. Once you're on the Today View, touch and hold a blank part of the screen until you see things begin to jiggle. In the top left corner of the screen, tap on the plus sign. And once you're there, you're going to see an option for all of the widgets that are available to you. Now you can scroll through or use the search bar to find one you like. For example, a weather widget, calendar, reminders, or even a health widget and then select the widget that you want. So I'm gonna tap into the search area, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just type in weather, and you'll see that I have two weather widgets available for me. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Apple weather. And once I do, you'll see that some widgets come in different sizes, small, medium, and large. And some of them have different information on them. So like here's the forecast. If I swipe, you'll see a bigger forecast area. And then you'll see details. So you can scroll through these and choose the one weather widget that you prefer. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and choose the large widget. And now you'll tap on Add Widget to confirm. Now I've added the widget to the Today View. Once that's happened, you'll see that you can drag the newly added widget up or down to position it where you want to. So I can go ahead and grab this and bring it up and drop it wherever I want it uh, to go. If the widget supports resizing, you may see a gray handlebar on the corner. And this way you can drag the corner and adjust the size of the widget if you want to. I can bring it back so that it's back into the small area. And then when I'm done arranging everything that I want, I can go ahead and tap done up in the right hand corner. And that's it. Now your today view is available for you with handy widgets giving you quick access to info. You can also later on decide if you don't want a widget. And to do that, you're on the widget view, you're on the today view. If I push and hold on a widget, I'll get the option to remove that widget. I'll go ahead and tap remove, and then I'll have to confirm it. Once I do, the widget's removed, so you can always add or remove any widgets anytime you want using the same steps that we just followed. Here are a few extra pointers that are especially useful. 
Pick one or two widgets at first so your today view isn't overwhelming. You can add more later. Use large size widgets if available. They tend to have bigger text and are easier to read. If you have battery concerns, avoid adding too many widgets that update frequently, like live news or things that constantly refresh the data. Arrange smartly. Put the most important widgets near the top so you don't have to uh, scroll to see them. For example, weather first, then calendar, then maybe reminders. Way clutter. The today view is great, but if you find yourself flipping into it and back all the time, you might prefer fewer widgets and stick to your home screen for essentials. If you upgrade your iOS version, sometimes new widgets appear. Revisit the Add Widget step to explore new ones. And there you have it, a simple, effective way to make your iPhone or iPad feel more personalized and senior friendly by using the Today View widgets. If this tip helped, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I share a new helpful tip every week, especially with seniors in mind. Also, leave a comment below and let me know which widget did you add first. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.